Good morning. Bonjour. So I thought I would show you step by step how to do a clock. I've protected. This is the back of the clock face and I've protected the center with the hole with just a little bit of sellotape and Mino's Corner showed a, quite a while back how to sellotape the back when you've got a circle. And I loved her technique, but I don't have the patience to do it that way. So I cheat and I'm using blue scotch tape. It is called blue scotch blue. So it's not just the color, it is called scotch blue. And all I do is follow my edge and then crimp the cellar tape so that it fits my circle. <laughs> I can be very lazy when I want to be and this is one job that I particularly dislike. I love everything else but this, well actually I don't love sanding, but this job I don't particularly like. So anything to make it go faster but at the same time protecting my piece properly at the back because as I hate sanding I don't want to spend hours removing drips and correcting the back of a piece. So I follow, as I say, I follow the edge because I don't want any tape going over my edge. I want my edge to be totally flush with my tape and then I crimp it like this, I press it down so that it fits my circle. Okay, so it's all covered and I've got a stick and all you need to do now is just make sure your edge is really well pressed down. Because there's lots of pleats, you do need to concentrate on making sure that, whoops, and break your stick. Um, that everything is nicely stuck to it. Okay, so I have my supports underneath. For the hole, the clock, for the clock mechanism hole, I use a straw. They are plastic straws. I've bought them on Amazon. And I can't remember if it was Amazon FR or Amazon UK. And because they are too narrow, I cover them with some more sellotape and you just go around until basically you have the right diameter, diameter to fit this hole. And then usually I have no leaks. If there's a tiny bit, I clean it out with my Dremel, but it saves a lot of extra work. The resin I am using is the premium epoxy resin from Just For You Online UK. It's quite a thick resin, so for this type of work, for me, it's perfect. And these spatulas are absolutely brilliant for mixing and they come from Just For You Online UK. They're made out of silicon and you just peel off the resin once it's completely cured and they're just fantastic to work with. So this is a heat gun and I use it to remove the bubbles. And I also use it to move the resin around if I want to blend the colors and achieve some effects.
Okay, it's done. And now I want to position some markers. And I am only going to use four for 12, six, three, and nine. And I am using these walnut divisions. They're walnut pieces. And you can purchase them from Just For You Online UK. If you use the code Valerie, all in capital letters, you will get 20% off if you purchase four products or more. And all I've done is I have painted them in silver. So to figure out how to do, how to place your numbers, I created a circle. Let me just put this down and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. There we go. I created the circle of the size that I want. I make, I've got several, several sizes. This one fits this 50 centimeter clock. You obviously have your center. You mark your clock face. And then with the compass, you take the length from six o'clock to the center. That gives you the length of your compass. And then with your compass, you turn around from six o'clock, you turn it round, you mark your four o'clock, you turn it round, you mark your eight o'clock, you go to three, you mark your five and your one, you go to 12, you mark your two and your 10, you go to nine, you mark your seven and your 11. So it's actually not complicated. Once you've done it, that's it. You can keep it. You can do it on something harder than this paper, but at the time I didn't have anything available. The clock is finished. So now it's just a case of removing the center, removing the tape and putting in the clock mechanism. So this comes out. Voyez comme c'est propre. You can see how clean this is. So it works really well. And I've shown this technique before to remove the tape. We just use, I'm gonna take my gloves off for a minute because this makes it really hard work. Easy peasy, job done. Donc, tellement facile. Et comme vous pouvez voir, c'est quand même très propre. All I'm going to do now with a piece of sanding paper, P500, is to lightly sand the edge because it's a little bit sharp and I've just cut myself. So, I don't want it to be sharp. Okay, so any work you want to do on this needs to be done prior to putting the handles on. Once the mechanism is on, 
it's impossible to turn it round. You would damage your handles. So this is my 12 o'clock and I want to mark it on the other side just by a little mark here. Ça, c'est pour pouvoir le pendre. This is to be able to hang it. And all we do is put it in like this. Center it with that. There we go. There we have it. I might cut them a little bit. I feel like they're a little bit long. Not keen on them being all the way to the top.